Hey Barrett, how you doing today? Um, this machine right here is the Armado 9000. It is a dry vapor steamer. Right now it's coming up to pressure. This uh, status light on here will turn green when it's ready to go. And then we'll get this dry vapor steam coming out of the machine. I'm gonna show you how this works real quick. And this is just a quick preview of what I wanna do for the new steam cleaner. Okay, well we're waiting for that to come up. I'm gonna show you the rainbow. This is my little rainbow vacuum. And what it is, is, down here, there's this little water containment spot. And you put water in there and some type of air freshener to filter out the dirt and to freshen the air while you're vacuuming so that you don't have a stinky house from whatever it is you suck up in the vacuum. Um, this is, Similar to where I want to go with this, combining something like this with the dry vapor steamer. Now, this Armado takes a little bit of time to warm up. It's, it's, it's five minutes for it to get to the point where then it starts to build um, boiler heat. And so it takes about 20 minutes total. If we could get the startup time under 10 minutes, that would be better. Alrighty, it's starting to build up pressure. You can see right here. Um, so it's gone from zero, it's up at 30. It's not gonna take very long for it to get to 90. Um, I can actually start operating this thing when it hits around 60 something, but I usually wait for it to get to 90 the first time. Here's a, another acquisition I have gotten is this Power Flight. Uh, Power Flight heated carpet extractor. This one works very, very well. It actually needs one motor. Um, it still works, it's just not as strong as it would be if they were both fully operational. Um, very heavy, very, very heavy, which makes it very awkward. Um, really want to get something in a smaller, more compact form that gives people the power um, to clean and kill bugs. Uh, we want dual purpose here, uh, but without damaging floors or carpets. Um, so the Power Flight is a 200 PSI machine. And at 200 PSI, it actually does a whole lot of, uh, does a lot. Um, a lot, lot of cleaning, and it, it will kill bugs at 200 PSI just because of the velocity. Um, if it was a little bit stronger than that, it would kill a lot more, I'm sure. Um, but some small things like mites, uh, I don't know if the water would hit it directly because they just hide behind a hair in the carpeting. Um, anyway, now this is the Clean Freak 100H. It's a 100 PSI machine. It is actually for the size of the machine it is the most easy machine to like load in and out of my truck um, as a full-size commercial machine very easy to, to pick up and put away um, my one complaint with this is the water pressure is too low uh, 100 psi really doesn't cut it if you're running a regular heated extractor however uh, with the dry vapor steam 90 psi is pretty good um, so what I'm thinking is something around 220 since the market is like at 500 right now with the psi rating then something around 220 psi should be very inexpensive to acquire parts for all right she's almost there we're gonna watch tick tick tock and that's the 90 mark right there and then watch the lights bam there she is now watch this puppy go
Okay, so you can see how awesome this thing is. Because the, the reality is, it, it does this dry vapor steam. It runs off distilled water. Um, the one complaint everybody has is they don't want to have to run out and get distilled water every time they need to load it. Um, I think if you had something that just ran off of filtered water, you know, uh, so give them the option, filtered or distilled, that'd be fine. Um, I'd like something that we also have, um, it periodically spritzes in, mixes in a little bit of vinegar. Um, I'm finding the hot water and the hot steam with the vinegar actually kills a lot more things. Um, which it, it ends up being really good. And then the air, oh my God, I've never been able to like breathe this well in my house since I've owned it. Um, the, the dry vapor steam is, is the, the, is, is amazing. Um, the two heated extractors, I'm going to just say it. I've damaged spots of my flooring, my walls, um, from all the water that comes through those. So I don't feel that that's the right way to go, uh, for, for a cleaning machine, but you got to have the vacuum built into the dry vapor steam box. If you have a vacuum combined with a dry vapor steam situation, that's like the new best tool for the house. And this summer, there's going to be an epidemic with the bed bugs and things from that hotel sale downtown. The Clarion Hotel is totally screwed Toledo with the auction. They, they auctioned off, um, they were selling armoires for $15 a piece. And if you were like me, I bought two armoires and I ended up with a massive infestation about two months later when these bugs hatched in my truck. Um, and they just migrated all over. And uh, it, it has been a disaster. A really expensive disaster. But I looked at it as an opportunity. Because I said, you know what? That means the market is going to be right for some, some uh, heated extractor rentals. But I wanted to find the right product. Um, you know, I want to make sure that we have a product that's not going to wreck everything a person has in their house. And the dry vapor steam is absolutely 100% the way to go. There's one other product that could do it, and it's, it's a uh, CO2 freeze product. Um, I literally think if you had a product that went flip-flop back and forth from one to the other, it would be so cool. But um, for ease of use, easy access um, to supplies, the dry vapor steam is the way to go 100%. Um, it's it's just missing that vacuum feature and um if you really 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 want to hit everything a hundred percent and provide the best product for somebody who's doing this commercially or even somebody who wants to just live in a home where they can have peace after being um molested by bugs uh the dry vapor steam with a combined vacuum is is it, it could be the miracle. Uh, I mean, I, I can honestly say this thing has basically saved my house. Um, the bugs were actually eating my house, which is crazy. But um, I don't know. They ate things in the house that I didn't expect. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm not surprised they had to tear the clarion down. I, 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 I have a feeling that some of these bugs actually even eat cement. Um, not a good thing. So anyway, but this product, uh, this could be something so much bigger, so much better than a CNC product. This is something that could be in, if not every home, at least one in every family in America.